Hello, town meeting members. My name is Stephen Frail. I'm the chair of the Needham Climate Action Planning Committee, and I'm also the town meeting member in Precinct G. I'm speaking in support of Warrant Article 14 to authorize community energy aggregation. So what is community electricity and aggregation? A CEA program is a form of bulk purchasing of electricity. A municipality contracts with an electricity supplier on behalf of its residents, businesses, and sometimes the municipality itself. The purpose is to aggregate the purchasing power of small electricity ratepayers to secure a better deal for those consumers, which could take the form of either more favorable rates and or greener electricity than consumers could procure on their own. There are two main goals of an aggregation. One, to stabilize electricity costs, and two, to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. A CEA also helps level the playing field for small consumers. An individual household or small business cannot negotiate prices and terms with an energy supplier, but a town representing thousands of electricity users can. Aggregation contracts are an incredibly powerful tool in the fight against climate change. The Needham Climate Action Plan Committee has identified, identified a CEA program as the most impactful action the town can take in the immediate term to reduce its greenhouse gas emissions. Roughly one quarter of Needham's greenhouse gas emissions come from the electricity used in our homes and buildings. The majority of our electricity is generated by the burning of fossil fuels, such as natural gas, oil, or coal. Roughly one fifth of our electricity today is generated by wind, solar, and other renewable energy sources. To understand how a CEA works, it is first important to understand how the basic electricity service works. In Needham, Eversource is our electricity delivery company. It controls the physical power lines and other infrastructure that takes electricity from its source to our homes and businesses. Eversource is also the default electricity supplier, which means that it owns and operates the plants that generate the electricity it carries on its power lines. Unless you ask Eversource to use a different electricity supplier, it chooses its own electricity plants for you. This is often referred to as Eversource's basic service, but it is not the only electricity supplier option customers have. Consumers already have the option to choose a different supplier by shopping for deals on energyswitchma.gov, a website that the Massachusetts Department of Public Utilities developed to assist consumers in shopping for electricity suppliers. If a consumer chooses a different electricity supplier, Eversource still delivers the electricity via its power lines and Eversource continues to maintain the lines provide customer service to consumers and send out bills. However, the supply comes may come from a different source. Consumers are limited to just those competing offers that are in the marketplace at energyswitchma.gov. In Massachusetts, most electricity is generated using fossil fuels, which emit greenhouse gases that contribute to climate change. Massachusetts energy suppliers are required to source 20% of electricity from renewables such as wind and solar. That renewable electricity requirement goes up each year, but not fast enough to reach our climate goals. With an aggregation, Needham can set an entry point for renewables at a higher percentage, which can more rapidly reduce our greenhouse gas emissions. Another major goal of a CA is to stabilize electricity rates for consumers. The Eversource basic rate resets every six months, and it can go up and down depending on factors such as the cost of fuel or electricity demand. Under a CEA, Rates are set for the life of the contract, usually two or three years. At any point in time, because the Eversource basic service price fluctuates, the prices paid under the aggregation may be higher or lower than the Eversource basic service. However, they are stable, which helps 
with predictable bills. Most cities and towns that have entered into a CEA have chosen to renew their CEAs once they've expired because they've been so popular. If Needham should enter into a CEA, a reminder, there is no change in the electricity delivery. Eversource would continue to deliver the electricity, maintain the lines and provide other services, and electricity bills would still be sent out by Eversource. A typical aggregation contract includes three or four tiers representing different amounts of renewables. There is usually a basic tier that meets the state mandated minimum for renewable energy. For most existing CEAs, the default tier adds between 5 and 10% more green electricity generation than it is mandated by the state. Most CEAs also offer an up, opt up tier that provides significantly more green electricity generation for customers who want to lower their carbon footprint further. Once the CEA is established, all Needham electricity rate payers would be automatically enrolled in the CEA, except those who have chosen to opt out of the service and into the Eversource basic service those who have already contracted with another electricity supplier. But even after the CEA begins, consumers can always opt out of a CEA without penalties or fees. Over 160 cities and towns in Massachusetts have already established CEAs, including many of our peer communities. Adopting a CEA would put us on very well-traveled ground in the state. Very importantly, there are no upfront cash outlay outlays by the town to enter into a CEA. The town would hire a consultant who does much of the work, including helping to educate the public, prepare a request for a pro proposal for sub energy suppliers, prepare documents for state regulatory review and other tasks. The consultant does not charge the town for this work. It is paid by the utility for the duration of the aggregation contract. If the municipality decides not to move forward with an aggregation after starting the process for any reason, the consultant would simply not get paid. There's no obligation by the town. There is some staff time associated with selecting a consultant and then working with a consultant to devise and implement the program. But once the aggregation is in place, the consultant handles most of the ongoing tasks. So what would happen if town meeting voted no on this article? A no vote stops the process in its tracks. The town would not be able to investigate, even look into a CEA. And this would block one of the most, the best tools the town has for reducing its greenhouse gas emissions and providing more predictable uh, energy bills for consumers. What would a yes vote on this article mean? First of all, the town meeting is required by state law to vote on a CEA article to authorize the town to begin the process. But the yes vote would only start the process. Uh, and that would allow the town to begin working with the consultant to design a CEA plan. The public would absolutely have an opportunity to weigh in on the process. Passing this warrant article is only the first step in a long process to establish a CEA for the town. The town would plan public hearings and other opportunities for public comment as it works on a plan. And once a plan is finalized, the town is required by state law to implement a communication plan about the CEA to inform consumers of the options they have, including the right to opt out for any reason without penalty. The overall process is lengthy, requiring a public hearing with the Department of Public Utilities, and it usually takes between 12 and 24 months before any contracts are signed. The Climate Action Planning Committee unanimously recommends that the town pursue a CEA and ask for your yes vote on Article 14. This is the most impactful step the town can take to reduce greenhouse gas emissions in the short run. A CEA 
also provides an opportunity for the town to negotiate more stable rates on electricity for those who choose to participate. Those who don't choose to participate in the CEA can opt out of the program at any time without penalty. Finally, there is no direct financial impact on the town to joining a CEA. For additional questions, please read the FAQ document on the town's Climate Action Planning Committee page, or you may email questions directly to the committee at climate at needhamma.gov. Thank you very much.